Hey! Hi, I'm Mika, and I actually wrote a script for this video this time around, which is weird, but anyways, Steven Universe, am I right? <laughs> for those of you who don't know, we'll get to the speed paint in a second, I swear. Steven Universe is an animated cartoon that started in May of 2013 and ended in January of 2019. It was quickly followed by a movie which released in September 2019 and a sequel series, Steven Universe Future, that started in December 2019 and ended in March of 2020. Throughout its run, Steven Universe had held a giant fanbase and made strides for career representation in media. Although, like many fandoms, the buzz around it began to die down after Steven Universe Future ended. That is until it started to spread across TikTok like a plague. While I wasn't there, or while most of the original series aired, I hopped on right before the Diamond Days arc was released. I continued to stay up to date with Steven Universe up until Future came to a close, and it had me hooked. Not as much as like My Hero did or the Bat Family, but the love was there. But you're not here to listen to me ramble about Steven Universe, there could be a whole other video for that. You're probably here for the fusion speed paint, and which I'll get to, but first... There we go. So recently I've been seeing artists on TikTok create fusions concerning characters in the show, and I thought it'd be fun to hop on that trend. And before we continue, I'd like to preface that these fusions are for fun. And I did them in the dead of night, so I'm sorry for the quality. <laughs> Specifically the quality of the last one. While at first I used a filter on TikTok to decide which sounds to fuse, I switched over to the spinning wheel. But before we get to the wheel, let's talk about our first fusion, Blue Diamond and Pearl. The moment I saw this pair, I was so excited. And while I know the only fusions that really combine character designs are Steven's since he's organic and his clothes need to shift over to his new forms, I thought it'd be really fun to see how fusing their clothes would go. Uh, one thing I knew I really wanted to incorporate into this fusion was Blue Diamond's hood and Pearl's jacket. Because, look, just look at Pearl's jacket, it's really nice. <laughs> and... What do you know? They match up perfectly! While I didn't display her wearing a hood in the final design, I still sketched it out in my concepts because I just really like the, just the image of her wearing a hood. And I also really like the hair I gave her. It's very... Gumi-esque. And we love that. Color-wise, I decided to stick with blue since that's where Pearl seems to be leaning more towards after, like, Rose's death. But also I wanted to avoid monotony with this design since Blue Diamond is just blue. <laughs> so I decided to add little hints of pink. And by hints, I mean just full-on stripes. Full-on stripes of pink <laughs> into the design. Just as, like, as a little homage to Rose or pink. And the last little bit, I feel like I added Pearl's shirt, as you may be able to see. I wanted to incorporate Blue's weird connecting hair, but also not really, so I added the longer bits in front. I wanted to incorporate Blue's dress shape with the way it flares out at the bottom, so I just gave her- I gave her- they're not balloon pants. I don't think they're balloon pants, but I wanted them to flare out at the bottom. And if you couldn't tell, somehow, I wanted to make her sad, just to like, maybe this fusion is accelerating Pearl and Blue's grieving process, and maybe this fusion was formed right after Diamond Days, somehow, some way. <laughs> But yeah, maybe Blue's still coming to terms with the fact that Steven isn't pink, so her grief is still lingering. But yeah, I really like her. She's she's so silly. She's so silly and fun. <laughs> and I think her name is going to be... Is it Dormer... Dumortyrite? Dumortyrite? Hold on. 
do more tier 8. It's, I just thought it was fun. It's a quartz, so we can stick to the quartz aesthetic for the diamonds fusions. And yeah, she's my favorite of the three. Which is <laughs> a little concerning for you guys because she's our first one of this video. So, yeah. <laughs> and next up, we'll be switching over to Will. And our picks are Bismuth and Pearl. Again. You know what? That's fine. That's that's totally fine. Pearl's my favorite, so I can live with that. And also, Biz Pearl! Yeah. <laughs> Looking back on it now, making a Biz Pearl fusion based on the roller rink episode probably would have made sense. The only change would to this like this specific fusion design would be that there's a button up underneath her jacket. So like it, it would it wouldn't make a difference. It's fine. It's every Everything's fine. <laughs> Anyways, I struggled with this a little. I didn't have an immediate idea with this, like I did do Martyrite. But eh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I got it eventually. It's not as nice, but it's it is what it is. <laughs> They had two opposing tones color-wise, so I decided to just stick with the headcanon that they were both from Pink's Court. And then I didn't. <laughs> you won't see it in speed paint, but after making her skin pink, I decided to change it to blue, and dude, it looks so much better than it did before. Originally, I tried adding highlights through touches of yellow, but the design still looks monotonous. Uh, due to all the warm colors, so throwing in a cool one helps a lot. But yeah, again, I tried to incorporate Pearl's jacket into her design because it looks nice and I just like her jacket. And while this form was the first time we saw Bismuth without her apron, I still wanted to incorporate it in any way I could for funsies, you know? But yeah, I have- okay, so this is the, this is the part where I have to BS. <laughs> So the part where I have to BS yeah, so it fills up the whole speed paint. So, what else can I say about this? I really like her boots. I like my choice in sticking with business's overall colors. I like... I actually, I'm not too sure how I feel about the pink jacket, but I like the little rips that I added onto it. Just like make it look like she ripped the ja jacket sleeves off herself just to show off her muscles. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the colors I chose for the dreads, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. I think I would have thrown in a hint of blue in there. Eh, actually, no, I probably, I probably wouldn't have. <laughs> I'm lying. I'm lying to you guys. But yeah. This was fun. I wish I had added a few, maybe like an extra limb or two on the elbows just to make it look a little not human. <laughs> I'm glad I changed her skin tone from pink to blue. That was a really good choice on my part, I, if I do say so myself. And here she is, blue and pink Kunzite. While well, she's not my favorite, I still kind of like the outcome. And finally, last but not least, we have... Really? Really? Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like Pearl's getting around tonight. It's her and White Diamond. So, I, I feel like I've prefaced this a lot in this video, but I want to do it again. I had no idea what I was doing while making this fusion. I eventually decided to do a ballerina theme for them, but I'm not too sure if it worked, especially since Pink Pearl is also associated with ballet and has a closer connection to white than Crystal Gem Pearl does. I don't know, I had... I don't know. 
I had wanted to make three designs in one sitting, but it was approaching one in the morning and I was growing delirious, not gonna lie. So there are so many like just general mistakes. Like there are a few anatomical mistakes with the legs, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and oh, Mika, why didn't you just work on it the next day? Because I didn't want to. <laughs> I also had a bunch of homework I was procrastinating on that I was saving that for like the next day. Anyways, I tried to mute their colors by a lot and try to make her hair resemble whites, the ponytail, with you know, like the little the little points. Also that ponytail it's the favorite my favorite part of her design, I'm not gonna lie. And I think it's the only part of her design I liked. <laughs> I know I gave Demartyrite and this one two sets of arms, and I gave all three of them three sets of eyes, but like it's fine. I I'll if I ever do this again, I'll try to diversify the designs and not just do the same things over and over again. <laughs> And now that I'm off script now, it's time for yesing again. For like the remaining 30 seconds of the speed paint? 40? I'm not sure. You get to listen to my voice. I really like Steven Universe. It's a it's a good show. If you haven't seen it, you should you should watch it right now. At this very moment. <laughs> but yeah, White Diamond's a fun not fun character. I enjoy White Diamond's character. Pearl's my favorite. I'm surprised I got her so often but here she is milky quartz once again stick with the quartz theme for all the diamonds and she is my least favorite of the three and we're done and honestly it was still fun to work on these even if I peaked at the beginning <laughs> and like my frustrations only grew afterwards but again it's fine I had at least a little bit of fun. <laughs> I I love Super Universe, so revisiting it for the first time in a while was really fun. It was really exciting, and I'm really happy other people are enjoying it again, and we're not all hating on it like we did like five years, not even five years ago. It's been like, the whole time it's been airing, but I'm really glad we're moving past that a little. It's, it's, a, it's a fun show. It's a fun, it's a fun little show that I really want to rewatch. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. That's just fun to work on. That's, yeah. Bye.